In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the orthographic drawing for the finger guide. What we want to end up with in this tutorial is the top front and right side views with our center mark, hidden lines, and center lines. This one does get a little more complex with the projection based on this angle to create this section over here on the front view. This is angle driven which makes this a little more challenging. So I went ahead and set up my boxes for my top front and right side view. So we're going to start modifying these and then projecting and creating all the features that we need. I started with a rectangle. I do need to explode it. This length across the top is 0.94. So I'm going to tab in here to set my overall length of 0.94. And this line has a length of 0.76. From here I'm going to just match these up in order to start projecting features from one view to the next. Before I go too much further with this one, I am going to set this vertical line at 0.19 back sorry, not 0.19 1.9 there is an edge that will correspond here in the top view so that's really about all I can get out of this view for right now I'm going to start making some measurements here in the top this does come in 0.3 so I'm going to stretch this back 0.3 inches, which will then lead me to create this angle. And being that this top view is symmetrical, I'm going to keep that in mind and use my mirror feature later on. This is going to be a line that I'm going to mirror around momentarily. So we have this top edge that comes across. And we do have a circle that goes in here and I'm going to move that back point one or 1.12 and this is the center for the circle as a diameter of 0.78 except I can't do that the wrong way. Let's try that again. Circle with a diameter of 0.78. And I'm going to mirror this to the other side. I'm going to wait till I have this little notch figured out here in the corner. There's an angled line that's going to happen in the top. So I will figure that out here momentarily. So point 62 in and 0.4 gives me this little notch here in this corner which I will also transfer by mirroring it and I will transfer it down to the front view. I'm going to switch over to this right side view. I'm going to measure down 0.44 so I can then make a 30 degree angle and I can mirror this to the other side or I can just make that maybe a little bit easier without having to mirror that just one line and this length is still 0.50 to the top so now we're just going to start projecting features around this part. So there's my horizontal line for the front. I'm going to take this line, this line, and this line and mirror them to the opposing side. So mirror these on this line and hit yes to keep it. I'm going to mirror this, this, and this 
on this line. And I should have mirrored this one. And now I can start projecting this from one view to the next. Object lines, object line. These will be hidden lines. And I will have a center line here in the front view. So I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to mirror them on this axis. And this line and this line are hidden. This line here will be a center line, which does need to be extended past the object. Did not get my line type to appear. And there it is. I'm going to take the time right now to clean this view up. I'm pretty much done with this right side view. Let's get some of these lines out of here. I'm going to clean up this top view. We are just about done with that. Don't need this projection line anymore. Don't need that line. This one can shrink. And this needs to be trimmed off. There are two ridge lines here where that 30 degree angle is constructed. That I'm going to transfer to the top. That is not a straight line. That's better. I'll trim these off. We've already projected this one down. We do need to project the hidden line for the back of the curve. And we also need a center line projected. So this one here is hidden. This is a center line. I do need to extend it. Quarter inch makes the pattern take place on a center two. So now I'm left with all this projection that needs to take place for this back section. I'm going to drop a line straight down where it meets here. I'm going to project this straight across and I am also going to project this corner here straight across. So now it's just a matter of cleaning this up. This gets stretched back and this one gets stretched down. And I have laid out or created all the construction for this one. I do need a center mark. It is under annotate where you can type in in your Dynamic input, center mark, and I have created the center mark. So we will be putting over overall length, width, and height on here, but we'll be saving the dimensioning for the next video. Sorry. Done projecting. Should do it.